Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasia, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome in. I'm so excited to have you here. It is officially day 28 on the island, so just two more days of this 30-day challenge, which was really no longer a 30-day challenge. Um, yeah. <laughs> But today I'm just standing in our beautiful Cosmo field here because we need to turn this Cosmo field into a blueberry field. Today we are continuing our fillers across the island because we are about to finish all of the building and exterior decor across this island. So before we get into it though, I would greatly appreciate if you guys could like and subscribe. I would love to have you guys join this community that we are building here. Now let's get started. Okay, so coming out of my flower field, I think I actually want to start with that build first just because I'm really inspired to do so right now. Um, let's go and get all of the flowers that I need. Honestly, I don't think this is enough. I really don't think this is enough flowers to fill my entire flower patch, but I guess we'll find out. Honestly, can you guys believe that this island is almost done? It's been a journey. It truly has been a journey. <laughs> it's been a couple months, not even a couple. It's been half of the year <laughs> already, and it took me this long to do a 30-day challenge. Will I do another 30-day challenge in the future? Maybe, but don't expect it anytime soon because I will really have to plan that out. I think where I went wrong is really just trying to do it in real time. And that's a lot of work, especially on top of my school schedule. That just was not in the cards for me this year, I guess. So who knows? Maybe I'll give this another try and everything will be very consistent. But, you know, honestly, I feel like kind of the breaks in between my building process for this island has really helped my creativity. It can be difficult for me to create builds every single day. I don't really even play every single day, so honestly coming up with like a new build each day is really difficult. So to anyone who has done a 30-day challenge before and finished a complete island in that amount of time, you have my full respect because it is not easy. And yeah, it really is a challenge. All right, oh, we got the perfect amount of flowers to fill my pockets. I didn't have any more room. Oh, look at sweet Molly. Is it just me or do you guys also love seeing your villagers holding juice? Ugh, I love her. Okay, but back to business. We need to plant all of these flowers. I'm so, so excited. Honestly, I probably should have done this part last because who knows if I'll need to time travel when ordering items today. <laughs> oh well, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. I've been waiting so long to fill this whole field with these flowers. Today is the day. I'm so excited. Okay, we got one row down. How many rows are there? There's one, two, three, four. Four rows. Although this one I doubt is gonna have much room because the windmills take up a lot of the space. So maybe I will have enough flowers. But the real question is, I can either put the flowers in between each bush or I can put them right behind the cosmos. I haven't really decided. I'll probably do like alternating, like this row will be in between the bushes. But I feel like that's not that many blue flowers. I don't know. I'm going to keep doing it and we'll see. <laughs> okay, looking at it, I kind of like having them in between the bushes. So I'm actually going to move these a one row up and it just kind of spaces everything out a bit. So I do really like the look of that. And so this definitely means we will have enough flowers to fill out this area. So that's a good thing. Okay, I think this is all that I can fit in here based on the way that I did it. And I really like it. I think it's the perfect hint of blue throughout this entire area. So this is super cute and nice. I'm really happy with this. Now let's try to figure out what I'm going to do in this tiny spot. I think, as I said before, I'm probably just going to make it a picnic. I really wish though that we had some kind of blueberry item in game because it would be so cute if people were eating blueberries here or something of that nature or even having like blueberry jam. I think that would be perfect too. Oh, I do have a blue storefront. Maybe I could try that. Do I have anything else that is blue? Ooh, you know, this could be fun. Maybe some oil barrels. I don't know if, if that's gonna look good or not. Would a lawnmower look good? I'm just gonna grab everything. I'm grabbing everything that I see that's blue. I do have this mom tease cozy, which is blue, but it's a cat. And I feel like that kind of will stick out. It's not really 
fitting with my island, I don't think. Ooh, maybe they could be eating like blueberry pancakes at their picnic. <laughs> I think maybe. But also, these muffins or cupcakes kind of look like blueberry muffins. If you look at the seeds of the muffins, they could be blueberries. I think that actually might work. That and this, pumpkin scones. I might try those. But first, we gotta hit this rock. And actually, I need to go put all of these blue pansies back on the beach because my pockets are full and I need some space to work. Okay, with that out of the way, we can finally start decorating this little picnic. I think I will definitely go for the picnic idea. I know I grabbed two oil barrels and stuff, but I think the picnic is going to turn out much cuter. And it's a good thing that I have a blue blanket to go for this picnic. Everything is just coming together with the whole blue thing. <laughs> I just don't know if I should push it back one more space or just make it a big rectangle. Actually, I think I will have it that big. I think it's kind of cute that way. Plus, I'll be able to fit more things on here. So placing down these pumpkin items, oh my gosh, I feel like they do kind of look like blueberry desserts. I think that actually could work. It's perfect. And I also grabbed a book that is customized in a blue version. There we go. And then I also grabbed some gyroids just because I think it'd be really cute to have them enjoying the picnic here. I grabbed an oinkoid that's customized in blue and then I also have another one that's customized in blue. Although this is the difficult part about making picnics is really just getting all the items to fit a certain way. Okay, let's actually pick this up again and start over. I guess we can still put in the pancakes. And I also actually grabbed a Moroccan footrest. Maybe I should put that down in this corner. I know there's a blue version of the Moroccan footrest, but that has some pink in it. And I think the purple just looks a little better. Okay, actually, I don't know if I'm gonna go for the scones. I think I just want these cupcakes here. And I think each gyroid is definitely gonna need their own stack of pancakes. Oh my goodness, this is so difficult getting all these items in here. I feel like this is when Happy Home Paradise or even just decorating in your house comes in handy because you can put the items exactly where you want them. But when it comes to putting things outside, it's just a little bit more difficult. Okay there, after multiple tries, I think I got everything in the way I want it to look. I think that's kind of cute, a little gyroid picnic. They're eating some blueberry pancakes and blueberry muffins or cupcakes and also reading up on the news around the island. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. If anything, I could probably fit one more gyroid right here, but I don't think I have another blue one, so that's just gonna have to do for now. If you want to come and take pictures with them, you can. Maybe this is exactly where visitors should sit, actually. You can sit down right here with the gyroids and enjoy the picnic. Okay, with that done, I think we're going to move on to another section. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys the final look at the blueberry field. It's still one of my favorite sections on this island. I just think it's so beautiful. I love this so much. But yeah, okay, now we're going to move on to another section. And where should we go? There is actually another area next to ketchup's house which i need to do so let's head over there all right here's the section next to ketchup's house um i really have no idea how i want to do this little area it's a huge question mark for me right now i could either do like another stall or i could make a seating area but i'm really not sure let's just look through my storage and see what i have because that is honestly the best way for me to think of an idea is just looking at the items that i have on hand so it looks like i do have a storefront i think i'm just gonna grab that <laughs> maybe i can make some kind of building out of it Ooh, i also have a pergola looks like i also have this bug cage not sure if i'll actually use that though and I also have another covered wagon. I don't know. I really have no idea what I should do for this build. I might just end up putting boxes and things around here. Because nothing is really calling out to me right now. Okay, let's just try to throw something together here. <laughs> let's see what the pergola looks like in this section. I could honestly just throw it down in the middle of the road here and have it be like a transition. Because I could extend this dirt road and have it go underneath the pergola. Is it pergola or pergola? Definitely let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure how you say it. Oh, that's actually kind of cool looking. I don't really hate that, honestly. 
I feel like it definitely blends in. I was a little nervous that it would kind of stick out, but I think... But let's see if you can see it from the bridge. No, it's actually kind of out of line from the bridge, which is really nice. I think I'm just gonna go for that. I don't know where else I would put it on the island, so I feel like it's a perfect fit. You just come through here and keep on going, and there's her farm. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. But I do feel like something should go behind this area because I don't want you to just see the cliff. But you know what else I could do instead of just doing another straight line is probably make a dirt path that winds through here and still put in the pergola, but it would just add a little bit more interest to the area, I think. Um, let's try that out and see. I think I'll go for the garden path just because it's a little more structured. Okay, this is what I've come up with. It got a little skinny towards the end there, but you know what? It's okay. You're not really going to see it that much. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the storefront that I grabbed from my pockets right up against this cliff. Oh, it's the blue one. I completely forgot I grabbed that. You know what? That's actually kind of fun. Why not? Let's just keep the blue one there. And I also have a little medium wheat sprout. And let's go ahead and put in the pergola. Yep, I love that. That's so cool and pretty. You just walk under here and head over. I really, really like this. Although I think I should put one or two codes right here just to fill in the gaps. I love how I say one or two and then I just end up filling up the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually so adorable. I love that so much. You know what would be perfect here? A barrel would be perfect. You can't go wrong with a barrel. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a little pumpkin right here and maybe a few little stones right here. Okay, actually, this turned out kind of adorable. Let's craft our barrels and then I think we can be done with this little filler. Okay, yes, that's exactly what that spot needed. And I could possibly drop a little pumpkin on top of it and maybe customize the stacked bags to go right next to it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So let me recustomize these bags really quickly. Let's go ahead and do a tomato, just because we are in a tomato patch. <laughs> so I think that will be very fitting for this area. And we'll put it down right here, scooch it over, and there we go. You can't really see it too much because of the tree, but once you kind of explore this area, I think you'll be able to see it a little better. Okay, moving on from that build, what else do we have to do? I think we've done everything on the top cliffs and all of my beaches besides the right side. And of course, I need to do this beach as well. I do still have some flowers over here that I still might use, so I think I'm gonna actually decorate this beach off camera and you guys will just have to see the final tour to find out how I decorate this beach because I genuinely have no idea how I'm gonna do it right now <laughs> and I'm in desperate need of some items so I guess that'll be a surprise for the island tour. Okay the last little area I think on the whole island let me double check. Oh wait no okay so we definitely need to decorate where I'm standing but also the very back corner beach back there by my um, little flower field and food truck. So that will be it after I decorate those two areas for this island. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. It's been one crazy journey for this island. Now, as I said, for this little area, I definitely want to make it like a lavender field. So it's going to be super simple, honestly. I'm probably just going to put down some code and put some of the flowers in between but I'm actually loving the white cosmos with the purple hyacinths, so maybe I'll just do like a row of both of them because I do think it's really pretty. I cannot wait to finish this island, you guys. I seriously am so excited, but also I'm just really looking forward to starting a new theme. I feel like I'm not really getting burnt out. I just feel like I'm missing the whole restarting process because that's what really inspires me for new island themes. The whole beginning stages of the game, searching for my villagers, like that is so much fun for me. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm just really missing that right now. <laughs> so I cannot wait to finish this one and start a new one. I'm really not sure, I haven't officially decided what my new theme is, but oh, we caught a manila clam. <laughs> I'm really not sure what my new theme is going to be quite yet. I have like three different theme ideas that sound super fun, but they're all kind of in different seasons. So I don't really know what to do right now. 
let me know in the comments what you guys would be interested in seeing me do for the next island theme like one of the general themes whether it's forest core or another spring core theme maybe something a little bit more summery although i'm not really sure if i want to do summer just because by the time i officially finish this island we'll probably be in the middle of summer or at least the beginning of summer and i doubt i'll be able to finish a whole summer island in that time so I don't know. Leave your suggestions or what you would be interested in seeing me do for my next island. Uh, I can't guarantee that I'll actually do that, but I just want to get your guys' input because I love hearing from you guys and seeing what you have to say. So yeah, leave all your suggestions for me down in the comments. I'm kind of liking the look of this that I'm working on for this flower patch. I do want to try to incorporate some boxes here and there. Maybe like a box right here and then put something on top of it. And then I can also drop a little honeycomb right here. This is my very last wasp nest. We'll drop that there. And if I have one more bee model, that would be perfect. I have one more bee model. That is great. That's all I really need. I wanted to put it here right in front of the wasp nest. Now I just need, I don't know, actually, should I do boxes or should I do a barrel? Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna go for a box. And I'll probably customize it in white just to match everything. I feel like something definitely needs to go here. Or maybe I take out one of the purple hyacinths and put a barrel next to the box. Ooh, I could actually make a little stool right here. I think that would be really cute. A stool, a box, and a barrel. <laughs> Honestly, the perfect combination. Ooh, you know what else would actually be cuter is if I put a water pump right here. Or maybe I could do it in front of the box. Something like that. Okay, this is too pretty. I put the wide brim straw hat on here and customized the water pump in brown and then I ended up putting the barrel. <laughs> the barrel just works. It works every time. <laughs> I don't know why I doubted the barrel. But this, I think, is all for the beach. It blends so well with the backdrop. It's just so nice. I love this. Now, let's move on to our final section. Okay, here we are in the very last part of my island, besides the beach that's at the very front. Um, for this, I actually have an idea of what I want to do. I'm literally going to just throw a ton of barrels on this beach. <laughs> Not really the regular barrels. I'm thinking more so these barrels, which I cannot pronounce, um, but yeah, I definitely want to use all of these. I think I want to use some stacked ones as well, and I think it takes like two of them to customize one stacked barrel. So I'm just gonna grab all these. I might actually include the hand washing area too. I think that's a really cool item. So I think I'm gonna put the washing station down first just because it's the biggest item that I have. And you know what, I actually have quite a few of the cacao trees and I think they will look really good with the items that I'm trying to use. So I'm gonna grab a few of these too. And maybe I'll just stick one back here I'm just honestly gonna stack a bunch of things in front and behind each other just to make it feel very full. That's really just the goal with this build. Okay, I actually think this looks really cool looking. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's very jungly kind of. Um, now I do want to incorporate some of these sugar cane because I think it really matches the whole style of this. So I might just do a few rows of sugar cane and yeah, we'll just figure it out from there. So this is what I came up with for this little area. I think it's kind of fun. It's very different from all the other areas and farms on my island. So I'm kind of happy with this. And down here, I wasn't going to do too much because it's right behind my greenhouse. And there's really nothing exciting going on down here. But yeah, I think that is all for that little section. It's super cool. I really like this. 
So with that, everyone, that is all for all of the fillers across my island. As I said, I'm going to do that last beach in my own time, so it will be a little surprise for the dream address and the island tour. And um, stick around tomorrow where I will be decorating the inside of my house. I've already done it, actually, and I'm so happy with how it turned out, so definitely stick around for that. I'm so excited to finally show you guys what I did in there. And I cannot believe we've officially finished the whole exterior of this island completely. No terraforming. I didn't do any changes to the original island map. And I'm so proud of myself because terraforming is one of my favorite things in this game. And as much as I missed it, it was pretty fun. Not really having to worry about the terraforming, just having a whole clean slate and everything kind of decided for me. So it's been a challenge, it's been fun, but I really had a great time doing it. As I said, stick around tomorrow for my house interior design. I decorate all six rooms and it's just going to be a really good time. So thank you everyone so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely consider giving it a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you would like to follow along with Sprout and all the other fun island themes that I have planned for the near future. So with that everyone, I hope you all have a lovely day or night and I will see you in the next one. Bye!